Hey guys, I know it's been a really long time since I've put out a video, and there's a good reason for that, a lot of good reasons for that, and I'll explain more on them later. But to make it really brief, I just really, really, really have not enjoyed playing League of Legends recently, and I have not enjoyed playing Singe recently, and that's the main reason I haven't enjoyed playing League, because Singe is the only champion that I like in this game. Um, I have had, over the last year and a half, a lot of really pointless conversations with really just absolutely clueless and unintelligent members of the Riot Balance team regarding Singed. I've tried to make them understand things about the character and how he functions in high elo, um, and they refuse to listen to logic, they refuse to look at data, they refuse to take valuable insight from every high elo Singed player, not just in May. Um, and the combination of all that and the frustration of just how he works in game, like he, he doesn't function well at all, has just pretty much almost completely driven me away from League. I m might give it another shot someday, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I, I want to keep playing for the sake of this channel mostly, but uh, again, no guarantees. So this video specifically is on... Um, how how other high elo players view singe in the context of a game because i know that uh, you, you always hear singe players talking about how he works in high elo but i just wanted to kind of give you guys a perspective of how other high elo players um view singe how they look at singe and how they think about playing against him because i think that not only will it give you uh give people who don't play singe an insight into why we feel this way but it'll just give people a fresh perspective, and I think that's good. So the person who I uh, was talking to in this clip, his name is King Nidhogg. He's a Challenger Jarvan main, really, really good player. Uh, make sure you check out his YouTube and his Twitch, both of which I will link in the description below. Um, and yeah, subscribe to him for really, 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 really good educational videos and highlight videos and stuff like that, uh, mostly pertaining to Jarvan. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you guys later. Um, so, so kind of elaborate on why you think that Singed is bad at high, like high levels of solo queue. I know that a lot of Singed mains have been saying this for a okay. long time, but like, why do you, as, as, a, as a Jarvan challenger player, why do you think that too? All right, well, just empirically... Um, whenever I see a Singed, I, I honestly, I just laugh to myself because if it's on the opponent team, I know for a fact that in, you know, in the late game, whenever, whenever you have five people grouped and you can always think of the game as like kind of a linear thing, early, mid and late game. Um, the, the, the problem, uh, that, that a lot of people do is they don't actually see that a champion like Singed, no matter what throughout the game, I, I feel as if he doesn't have impact right and so what what ends up happening yeah. is he has to win that early game he has to do either you know proxying pressuring super hard right because you can't get a strong late game without i guess destroying early because if you know what happens is if you don't fucking absolutely murder your opponent in the early game as singe as far as i've seen you kind of just stagnate right and so you might be a little bit tanky yeah. but you know if you compare singed as a, as a tank right even as like a kind of a a, a mage, you know, a lot of people play him as like um, I would see like Rylai's or something, or Leandre's, and they go into the team. Yeah, some people, yeah. some people do the Rylai's, Leandre's. Some yeah. people like to do the full tank. Absolutely, and and the better. reason why I'm gonna absolutely discredit uh, discredit this this mage sort of ideal for for Singe is because well, the only way he attacks you is runs into you and gets the poison ticking on you, and the way that. Yeah, that, he has yeah. to get behind you. Yeah, and, and for that to happen, number one, you'd have to either be unable to respond, which in high elo is, well, you, you're guaranteed to have smart players. So if they see the Singe, you're like, okay, why don't we just CC him? And he's gone, right? And so so yeah, yeah. the other point that I want to talk about, the, it's a little more, a little safer, right? Full tank Singe, this idea of like, hey, man, let's, you know, let's build full tank. Let's run into the team, uh, disrupt them. That's that's like the idea that you know, I, I guess Riot thinks of... Um, you know, things singed would kind of be right, like that tank that can really go in, create a lot of pressure, um, even peel for the team. But what happens in real high elo games, and what they, I guess, they don't see is 
Well, number one, the early game, how the hell do you get out of that, right? Because it's just you're playing against ch uh, champions and, and opponents that are far better. I mean, if you've ever played, like, yeah. you know, against even, like, a decent cannon, okay, or, like, a, any any range champions, or even Fiora back then, who, who, you know, it's a melee champion, but everything about that kid just counters uh, Sinjin. Th that comes down to, the I guess, one of the core problems that I view to be, you know, really prevalent for Singed is the fact that his kid is just so abhorrent it's so t it's unique it's it's, very it's, right but but look at the passive it's disgusting like what does it do for you there are no tools for singe to gap close to you other than his speed right and and this ties back into and that is very yeah, easily the, the, this, you, like very easily. absolutely and this ties back into the idea of yo even though he's a tank he's a terrible tank at that all right let's let's look at nautilus all right let's make comparisons between him and a few uh, tanks okay nautilus has a gap closer nautilus has an ultimate that's ranged uh, he can get to his opponents without dying Right, uh, Maokai, you know, he's incredibly tanky with his ultimate, right? You can drop the W. It's a gap closer, right? And and he's got some sort of sustain. They, they have all these tools that allow them to, well, number one, actually survive and engage. And, and, and not only that, um, beat other tanks, right? So if Singe went against the Maokai, yeah. Maokai can peel the Singe, but Singe, can he really peel the Maokai? He can fling him every now and then, but the Maokai won't. It, it doesn't stop, right? This is why these picks were, you know, yeah, with really, CDR, it just it's, it, it's stupid, yeah, because these tanks are just out tanking Singed and out damaging Singed, right? So either way, and it, it, I feel like it's kind of a product of the meta too, because the whole full tank Singed idea started happening when people saw the need to build RG right. and every like health resistances to survive and engage. But the problem is after you do that, like even okay, say say by some stroke of pure miracle. You're in a high low game. You pop ghost alt RG, and you somehow manage to fling the enemy AD carry who is not asleep at their keyboard. What do you do after that? You don't do you any don't damage. Do shit. If, if if your team cannot instantly kill the the enemy AD carry who is very good at positioning and very good at surviving things like that, right. then you do nothing. It, you do absolutely nothing. It's stupid because the the whole idea behind Singed requires your opponents to actually be fucking stupid, just completely stupid. Uh, like, like they have to. Yeah, not... like it, it requires your your opponents to be bad. It, you you don't get rewarded it's for so playing dumb, well. You get rewarded right? for the enemy team playing poorly. And and this is prevalent with a lot of champions. But I wouldn't. I w I would definitely maintain my position in, when I say that Singed as a champion has just the worst. Uh, l l let's call it scaling when it comes to the, the, the skill gap, right? As you go up in ELO, his effectiveness just drops exponentially, right? As, as compared to like, you know, oh, these champions are a little worse that here and there. No, Sage is hands down like terrible in high ELO, right? There will be a oh, few yeah, players, absolutely. there will be a few uh, a, f a few players that can actually, um, you know, make use of the champion, but I don't think we've ever seen. I mean, even then, like, not really. Anymore. Yeah, like every every right. master challenger sin just fucking plummeted it's, down it's ever stupid. since like the, the, the meta changes. Because you don't even have to be a top lane main to just pick meta and fucking you know as soon as the singe pick comes out, you just look at him. You're like, lol, what? I do more than you, and I don't even play top yeah, lane, yeah. and then you just you know. You're, you're, so say you're like a support player auto filled the top lane. You see the you see the enemy like second pick singe, and then it's your rotation to pick. Right. What are your options? You like oh I can pick Kevin. Right. I start lane with the call. I farm you. I out harass you. I out heal you. you I stun you. CC you. Deny you all the fight entries. Outscale you and potentially a tankier than you with the stupid frozen mallet build. There was another you option. You pick Fiora. You win the early game. You win the mid game. You win the late game. It's like it's there. There's there's no champion in this game that has as many bad matchups so f as frequently as Singe. And with the right. introduction uh, reintroduction of Swain and Vladimir into the meta, it's just even worse. Right. Like you would never be able to one v one a greatest as Singe. It's just it's impossible. Yeah. Even in low elos, I think that it's just impossible. Simply because, for example, yeah. just the inherent power on some of these champions nowadays. It's not even that you know Singe's kid is is the ultimate worst. It's pretty shit. Yes. But the thing is, they're giving all these new champions all these different passives and abilities. What, what, what does Singe get off of his passive? He gets like some health or some shit based on mana. And you don't even want to itemize mana. I barely see any Singe. You know, they, they have to literally sit there in theory craft in order to make their champion. Yeah, because like, mana stacking is terrible, it's terrible. But terrible. the problem is, so is full tank. And, and, the, so and then the other problem is that building a, a hybrid of the two builds is fucking awful as well. It's right. like, okay, so so you, you have a few options in builds. You can either do the, do the classic, 
the build that used to be really good, which is Rylai's Leandries in into tank items or whatever you need, right? Yes. And what used what used to be with that build before there was so much CC in the game, so much movement speed, so much gap closing, so much like obnoxious peeling and 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 support and just just Karma. whenever you could have tenacity in your masteries along with a little bit of damage, you, you could go Rylai's, you go Leandries. And you could you could more often than not manage to get into the enemy team and start like wreaking yeah, havoc with your percent damage poison. But what what's what's happened ever since the the mastery shift is that Singe can no longer have a little bit of damage and a little bit of tenacity. He either has a little bit of tenacity in the resolve tree or a little bit of damage in the uh, ferocity tree. You you can't have both, and that's a huge problem because what what ends up happening is you can't do the realized Landry's build, which is your only decent damage option yeah you can't do that because you'll just get cc'd and die so what's your other option you can stack mana oh like you're gonna absolutely do nothing because now you don't have damage you just have an ass ton of health and no way to use it because you're just gonna walk to the enemy team and die right you can either build you can build righteous glory in the full tank in which case yeah you can you can feel like you're doing something for the first 10 minutes of the game but as soon as the enemy champions get tier 2 boots or even like level up a point in their one of their stuns it's like you can't do anything then either because if somehow you manage to fling like say you're playing against piglet on on any like not even like a good ad carry say you're playing against piglet on jinx do you think do you really think piglet's gonna like sit there and get get engaged by your rg right no it's way. not a guarantee no fucking way. it's no guarantee i mean like one champion that just utterly destroys singed karma that champion mm -hmm, i've mm -hmm. seen karma's literally okay singed doesn't have like any damage to begin with because if you build it in high elo you're super right like as it's it's a trade-off right you you can't have yeah, a little yeah. bit of everything because you get fucked right S similar to jarvan and sometimes uh sometimes but i've literally just watched a karma as soon as her adc gets flung shield there goes all the damage in the world that singe has right and then, and then you know the adc just runs away right because exactly it, it's yeah. dumb you you get move speed you're right. Whenever, if someone wants to, you know, argue that, oh, but you know, Singe's move speed is great. <laughs> well, everyone has move speed. <laughs> every, every champion has move speed, and, like... and it's not even that every champion in the game has move speed. Every champion in the fucking game has percent move speed. That's it's so unbelievably superior so many when picks. you compare it to flat movement speed. It's it's not even funny. So Percentage movement speed is so much there better. There are so flat many MS. picks that are that are prevalent right now that just that have move speed. Fiora, Warwick, uh, Karma, Jinx. Even Jace can just... Uh, not, not Jinx. I mean, I mean, uh, Lucia, uh, Lucia. Not Lucia. Lucian. Lucia. There's so Fucking Jace can... Jace, Jace is already ridiculous. He can, he can literally Jace, just hypergate him. Has movements, hypergate. Just, he's gone, right? Ari, the yeah, mid laners. Uh, I guess Oriana and Syndra. I mean, even then, Oriana and Syndra like, just kills his Every, 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 every champion has mobility. I, it's so hard for me to think of a champion who doesn't have some form of mobility that's like that, meta. The, you know, the last example I can think of is Olaf. And that was in season six, Jungle. And and that was because only because he could power farm and get to like get max items extremely quickly. That's the only reason Olaf was even remotely good and without having movement abilities. But besides that champion, every single champion that's been meta or picked in professional play you has the ability. You simply can't manage as a singe. You simply can't. I mean, yeah, it, it's it's no matter, impossible. No matter how exceptional you are at the champion, you will always get outclassed by anyone that picks anything even relatively, you know, viable. That's yeah, and, and, and to elaborate on that, like, be, just because you said no matter who you are, uh, no if matter. you look at the most recent example of uh, a challenger singed player in Korea, Lehens, uh, whenever singed was a little bit, a little bit stronger earlier this season in, like, patch 7.1, he got to rank 5 playing around 400 games of singed. Where is Lehens now? Completely dropped out of challenger. He's playing night per support in 90% of his games. His singed winner over the last 20 games is, like, 35%, maybe less now. He's like 300, 200 LP now. It's it's not it's not even funny how Singed is worse now than he was in Season 6. And he was so much worse in Season 6 than he was in Season 5 and Seasons before that. Just because of how much just trash just shit. in the game now. So much just shit. shit. Yeah. Yo, look at the new champions. That just this. How do you catch them, right? It's just... Don't even get me started on fucking Raken and What's-Her-Face. Like... Giving an giving an AD carry mobility option uh, mobility options and an invulnerability and then the support himself has two mobility options and Alistair's QW on one ability. It's like oh, oh yeah. God. yeah yeah how do you get how do how do you as a champion what do you do when you get countered by one ability?
just one ability that you're gone. And every champion has that one. You're ability. gone. <laughs> You're gone. It's 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 a it's a champion that is required to kite backwards to damage you. What what is that? You you need to kite back to do damage, but you need to move forward to get the damage in the first place. Like so, it's like wh what? Right. Yeah, th this used to work when people couldn't when, when every champion couldn't were... jump over walls and when every champion didn't have percent oh, boost. Talent. But that's not uh, the case anymore. It's not the yeah like talent. It's like oh my god. Literally. Have you ever tried to kill? Have you ever tried to kill Skull Crab with Singe? Do you know how fucking impossible that is? You have to use you have to use your 100 mana fling and your 100 mana mega adhesive and oh, fling, right, the, cool fling the crab into the poison and pray that your poison and autos will do enough damage while you have it in in the goo. And if it doesn't, you better get ready to chase that fucker down because scuttle crab is is the hardest thing to kill in League of Legends. You think Vayne is hard? Have you ever tried killing scuttle crab with Singe? Like, give me a fucking break, Riot. They, 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 I guess, are short-sighted with a lot of these things because they just, I, I feel as if they only, you know, buff or take out the champions that receive massive outcry, like, like, absolutely massive, like, this is stupid, ah, oh, this is dumb, and, you know, and then they check Reddit and shit, and, and a lot of the, the balancing for me is, is around champions that look good on stage, right, no one, oh, no yeah, one, I mean, even admitted to at, it. at the highest level, League is just, it's it's a solved game. There are some methods or some strategies that are just way better than others, right? Oh yeah, it's absolutely it's solved. That's why they keep like changing right? the meta. They're they're not gonna they're pull tired of that shit. Thing where they yeah. like yeah, they're, they're absolutely <laughs> tired of the boring competitive. It, 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 I get it, it, that. It's an artificial simulation. I get that, but thing is, and I feel as if Riot cannot or does not want to acknowledge this because uh, acknowledge this because they're just gonna be admitting that they're wrong, or, you know, or have been wrong for a whole time. Um, you know, starting with season six, I would say fucking dynamic you Jesus, right? They they they, they hate admitting that they're wrong. They absolutely <laughs> hate admitting that they're wrong, right? Um, sorry, I, I digress. But as I was saying, I, I feel as if there can be a balance between competitive play, you know, being fucking nice to watch, I guess, uh, as well as Silicu being quality, right? And yeah, yeah. They're they're I definitely mean, just just to kind of elaborate on that. Every time, well, I guess. Every time has been an overstatement. The the few times that Singe was picking professional play, Twitch chat usually exploded because they're so that's excited to see a champion that's like that's that's so like I intertwined with the early days of League of Legends. Like all the all, all the older viewers like love that shit and yeah, quickly dude. like you begin remember. to realize oh her uh, lol Singe does nothing. You just are he's just RG bot. Like that, that that's something that really irritates me too. Is I feel like I feel like Singe now. It, more than almost well almost as bad as the issue of him like not being able to function is he just doesn't feel like singe anymore uh, it's kind of hard <laughs> to explain but like imagine imagine being like a yasuo main and having your e on a five second cooldown it, it, it wouldn't feel like yasuo anymore right I, imagine being like a riven and not being able to buffer your broken wings to have the next cooldown instantly available uh, imagine being a Syndra and having your your ultimate only have three orbs max or something like that. Like, it's not going to feel like the same champion. It's like playing Alistar but not being able to EQ combo or WQ, whatever the headbutt right. is. And, and, and if, if anyone wants to argue that point that that's for a lot of champions, that's going to happen naturally. I mean, that that's no excuse for Riot to kind of ignore a champion for for that you know long of a yeah, cause time which they which they addressed Aatrox before they address Singe. Aatrox has like three Yeah, people. I like, remember. No, no offense to the three Aatrox players, but there's three of yeah, you. Yeah, I there's, remember. There's like thousands of Singe mates. When when Aatrox actually came out, that was like 8th grade, dude. And only now, <laughs> only now, right? Like 4 years on, they um, yeah. I'm I'm in 12th grade now. They they finally changed him, right? It's it's ridiculous. I, I, I distinctly remember getting up in the morning to try to buy him, and I, I was like, shit, man, it's 7k IP, and I bought him, and I, he was fun. A little, bit, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little little 8th grade me had no idea that, dude, this champion would have been ass for years and only get changed after four years. Four, yeah. four fucking years. Yeah. Four fucking years. I went from being like a bronze three at the time to challenger before they fucking got the, the Aatrox rework out. I'm like, what is that? You know, what is that? Yeah, and just to kind of hit on that point too, the last time that Singe got a tangible change was yeah, the near e, the end of right? season four, 
what, it was near the end of season four where they changed his ultimate from at level sixteen to go from sixty resists or sixty five resists to eighty resists, and then <laughs> in the, in the middle of season five, um, they changed his fling to do percentage max HP damage, which is a net neutral change for the most part. Doesn't really help or doesn't really hurt, uh, except versus tanky characters. And then they um, they gave him magic resistance per level, like every other champ, the melee champion in the game. So like, he's he's been he's been changed less, I think, than pretty much every character in the game. I'm not I'm not completely sure about that though. There might be a few champions that have been touched less, but I feel like Singed is is right right there. He might he might actually just be the least changed. Yeah, dude, even a move, like, even. Yeah, Amumu mm. actually has a passive that that works. That's relevant, like, dude. Oh my! Goodness. All all these passives that are like a relic of a time gone by. These kind of like just one line of text, like this happens, right? Like yeah, like, like Garen still has. I want my paragraph. Yeah. Where's my paragraph? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. You just get fucking health, dude. Dude, I, I, I want to read my passive dude. and actually have to sit there for a few minutes to process. Right, it. Galio gets like. It wasn't damage reduction or something. War against damage reduction and a taunt on the same ability. Um, fucking everything gets so much. I don't think Riot has released a single champion now where it's kind of just like this happens and you're good. It's usually like yeah, this happens, right. but if you do this while doing that, then this. The newer champion releases all have you know what I what I've the newer champion releases all have what I've been kind of referring to as um, outplay potential. Which is like you, you think about things like um, uh, I guess Fiora is a good example. She, even if you're behind, she has the potential to to play her mini game and and make a oh, comeback. No, uh, Darius is another example. You have the potential to play your mini game, make a comeback. Talia, another good example. Uh, if someone fucking walks up, then you can mini game them with your entire combo, wall them off. Like Allowing. just because you're allowing, allowing. Yeah, another good example. Um, it's yeah, like, there's so many kinks. There, there's there, there's so many more options. Gangplank, oh my goodness. Gangplank is probably the number one example of a champion that has mini games. There's these champions, they have mini games now, and they can use these these mechanics to come back in a game even if they were doing poorly. Because their abilities have so much right. depth to them. They have so much right. so many different uses. You can use Gangplank for Elsa's zone. You can use them to nuke. You can use them to in laning phase to like push the opponent off the creep wave. You, it, it, right. There's so many, so many things that new champions can do with every ability. Every ability has at least two or three different uses. You're exactly every right. Every ability that Sanish has has very one or less uses. Very one dimensional. The only interaction yeah, exactly. was the goofling. What the, what yeah, the it's fuck? Like, when do you when do you use poison as singed when you can hit stuff? When do you use W as singed when you can slow something? When do you use E as singed when you're in melee range? When do you use R as singed when you're fighting? Oh, well, the there's biggest not, kind of there, singed. There's no thinking. Yeah, like like there's dude, dude, there's no banshees. Required. Banshees. Oh, good lord. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do when your opponent has banshees and you're trying to fling them, fling them once um, and then wait a million years before it comes up because it doesn't scale with level in terms of cooldown? All right, guys, get get your get your get your sarcasm detector is ready. Uh, Nidhog, what do you mean? Just build righteous glory, proto belt, sunfire. Cave, oh yeah. Oh, uh, I think Riot Bri said it was a guaranteed Bri engage, lies. right? Yeah, it's a guaranteed engage. Just, Did they just say that? These, just build these six different God. items. Uh, just build these six different items, and then use every active that you have, so you can pop the banshees and maybe maybe get a fling off. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, Singe is Singe is so, fine right now. So just build dumb. this. Just just build this entire six item build to try and counter one character it's or just one, a, one item on one character. It's so short sighted. They they can't see past their own elo. I mean, I feel like at the highest level, Riot members, they're at max like diamond. Like three or something, mm -hmm. right? At, at, at least on the what balance is, team. I, I know the playtest team has like right? some master master players, yeah, but yeah, but it just, the balance team not so much. You, you can't have these people that are so, you know, you know they're playing Aram or some shit, right? And and God, like yeah. you can't have these people determining what happens with, you know, there was this one idea thrown out there, and 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 you know it was a Reddit post, and it was even labeled offensive idea. It's like make this champion scale and damage based on your rank. It's like <laughs> you might as well. I mean, I feel like it was singed if you just make the damage values. I don't fucking know, like uh, his ultimate more move speed or tenacity or some shit, right? The, there there are fixes, you know, as as. Stupid as what I just said, you know, sounds. There definitely are fixes out there. 
Uh, what Riot needs to first do is acknowledge the fact that Singe is indeed faulty. It's it's dumb. You can cheese noobs. Oh game. yeah, absolutely. And 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 that's why whenever uh, people talk about Singe, like I just had a, a good example of this recently um, in the seven point what patches are right 7. now? Seven point seven. In in a seven point seven patch notes thread, uh, I posted I quoted the Amumu um, passive, and I said, I said Singed is crying for a passive that's half as good as this. Oh my god, 400, 400 and like fifty upvotes, right? But then you could tell that there was there was silver redditors in the comments not understanding the how high elo singe functions they're like no singed is very op right now he's super strong oh it's my like, word. yeah he's super strong because you have the reaction time of a fucking aardvark and you don't know how to walk backwards when a singe ghosts at you that that's why you right. think he's strong exactly. because you, ha you don't have the capacity to fucking play against him because you're essentially handicapped yeah and and, and it's not a it it's not in a measure to to shame these people what you need to do first is acknowledge the fact that well, a lot of your player base is terrible, right? Right? I mean, that's that's just that's just a given. And it's not so much balancing around the high elos. It's making it so that the champion scales based on how good you are with it, right? So so if you're terrible at singe, you should be you should be rewarded for playing. Yeah, if you're terrible at singe, you can still do good in high. Uh, sorry, in in low elo, but but I mean that doesn't mean you're actually good. You're just uh, your, your opponents are stupid, right? And so what happens is when you go up. In, in terms of your rank with this champion, you, you might you'll notice like oh dude these people are much better and if you yourself are getting better at the champion you should be rewarded like Minish just yeah, said yeah. right but instead you're you know you got this shitty every time you level up your Q all it does is give you damage right like well what is what the fuck? you get like I don't even know how much base damage you get it's not a lot it's, it's like it's nothing minuscule it's, it's nothing it's so stupid it's just I don't know. Give it like a health ratio or something on top of the AP ratio. Ooh. Fucking anything to scale that champion. Jarvan got a W scaling. After seven seasons, I demonstrated finally that Jarvan, <laughs> right? 7.7. 7, that's when they gave Jarvan health scaling. Why did they not oh, give this champion yeah. health scaling before? Is that not a smart idea, right? Well, it's because I showed how abusable the W was, right? And Riot's like, ooh, let's just, you know, let's just quickly. Right, like even LCK mentioned me. They're like, you know, there's that guy um, that played Jarvan strictly to challenger. Right, they mentioned me yeah, as yeah. a reason why they play Jarvan because I show Riot what's up. But there's so many more Singe players than there are Jarvan players. I would argue, or at least mains that are that are known of. I'm the only Jarvan main that's that's known in North, right? Or yeah, I think yeah, in the world. I don't fucking yeah. right. I don't I don't check up on that. But like, they can go to any of these Singe players and be like, hey, what's going on, right? And, and they don't, and they don't, and you know, Manuel Faxbot says something like, uh, "Just waiting for a respectable." But I'm like, what, what is that? What is what is a what's what's a respectable? <laughs> let me let me quote him directly. Yeah, they're, they're if the Singed had room to res oh responsible buff, what the fuck is it? It's still what the hell is a responsible buff? Like, so so I I think I kind of have an idea of what he's talking about, and the, it it goes back to what we were just talking about is that Singed shits on he shits on bad players and that's why they're so reluctant to buff him because if you're if you're in silver gold platinum i i'm not saying this as like a way to be offensive towards you but people in your elo think that singed is strong because you don't walk away from him the number one counter to singed is walking in the other direction you literally like, like, just any, walk away season, you just you just walk away from him and i i know to you that that sounds insane but just go on Twitch, go on twitch.tv slash minishcap1, go to Aquilo stream, go to uh, Anken stream, go to fucking Tornzer stream, go to any high elo Singe player stream, and just, just watch how the enemy positions against Singe, and it'll be like a life-changing experience do that. for you in and terms just of how you view the champion. I, I play Kha'Zix, right? And I remember playing against Grayson uh, or Savage Singe, a really good Singe player. Right, like in the early season, and I, I remember literally just running away. Just I just press E and I'm good over a wall. What does Singe do over a wall? You you gotta run flash to, yeah, to, to, to yeah. chase me. It's like okay, you can you keep have to running. Have so much but... movement speed that you can go around the wall and then catch up to make it for the gap. Quote, what do you the, the do? Lost. What do you do against any champion that has any semblance of mobility? This champion is yeah. outdated. It does not fit into anywhere. It's like it doesn't fit in any metal. It's 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 terrible. You, you, 
And there, that's not to say that there aren't other champions, but that's exactly my point. Many, many champions, many champions are so shit, are so, so shit. And it's not about making every champion viable. It's making as many as possible so you have diversity. So you don't have the yeah. same 20 locked in, you know? Even then, though, I would feel like they don't have to make every champion viable. They just have to make every champion not garbage. Like, there you go. I, I, I'm not saying, like, like Bub singed up to the point of, like, fucking Lucian or Graves or, like, Fiora. All I'm saying is, don't 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 leave singed as arguably the worst champion in the game. It, it, it's hard for me to yeah, think of a champion dude. that's worse than him. Even Aatrox has gotten buffed for, like, four patches in a row now. Like, it's... Oh, God. I, I, I legitimately can't think of one that might be worse yeah, than I played against, I, really uh, I played against the singed, and I went 0-4 in lane, and this guy was murdering me. Absolutely murdering me. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm on Jarvan, a champion that's not exactly the strongest right now. And even then, I throughout the whole game, I'm not even kidding you. I have a clip on this in my YouTube. He, he, he was so effective in the early game. But despite, you know, all his leads that he got and, and you know, all, all the kills and shit, <laughs> I, I looked in the late game. Twitch looks at him and he's gone. Just yeah, just I remember. I, I, was, I, I was, I was, I was talking. Oh, to you were, yeah, you were, you were right Discord. there. Yeah. I was like, I was, I was like, frustrated. Just, just chill, get, get, get to like twenty five minutes. He won't right, right, do right, anything. right, right, right. He, he ran ignite and killed my ass. Right, and I'm like, yeah, it's like so and, and that's bad. That's another issue with with Sin. Just like you can, yeah, sure, you can get a lead, but what you, you need so big of a lead to do anything, and you need that lead so quickly. To, to, to be able to, to like help yeah, the game, you need to absolutely. be like eleven and zero by like eleven minutes in the game. You need right. to just dumpster someone into the ground so fucking hard and win the game before like fifteen. Right, minutes. and if you can't do that, then you get outscaled by every champion. Every champion gets magic resistance and health per level. Every champion will get get a mobility item or or mobility ability. It's you just yeah. you just can't you you can't carry with Singe and you can't even help your team carry with Singe because the. The um, utility tank singe build sucks ass now because of the new meta. It, it's just and, and terrible. Arguably, it sucks. No ass matter what you do, it's terrible, and that's the thing, right? Like, I'm not exactly the best player, but I am, you know, a high elo player, right? I'm, I'm, I'm the only Jarvan in high elo, blah, blah blah. All the credentials, but my, my point in saying that is, if I can do this, if I can come back against singed and be more impactful than him, than anyone can in high elo. I, I I would put myself as the standard benchmark. Let's say just the regular master player or challenge player, whatever it is. Anyone above me will shit on you harder and also probably be playing a better champion than Jarvan to shit on Singed. And anyone below me, all they have to do is play a champion that's better, right? Maybe, maybe you know, they, they don't perform as well, but as long as they pick... Any champion other than Singed against Singed. Well, I mean, shit. You know, you can even do uh, you can even do Talon or something against fucking Singed. Oh yeah, Talon. Like you, you, you can do Katarina. You can, you can do anything. Outside of the laning phase. Right. It just it, it you know might not have been the best way to get that point across. But what I'm trying to say is, no matter what you do in a high elo, you know you have to try so hard. You have to theory craft. You do your runes, your setup. All this dude has to do is go on the internet, look at what people are building nowadays on Meta Champions, pick that champion, perform like half ass, just in, and you're good. You're honestly fine, right? Remember Poppy? Like, just what do you do against the Poppy? Anyone can play Poppy. Anyone can. That's 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 what I made a champion. In regards is. to to Poppy specifically, the only reason that Singe was being played against her was because Poppy had several nerfs in a row, but because of the prevalence of Courage of the Colossus, she was still being picked because of how you could stack with her shield. And because of that, you Singe could like actually just, just fight her in melee range and and manage to come out even or ahead while while pushing her in. That's the only reason why Singe was played versus Poppy. And if you pay attention to any of those games, what ends up happening after laning phase? Oh, well Singe just buys RG and tries to engage, and if he doesn't get the engage, he's completely useless. Yep. Uh, while, while Poppy is gaining, Poppy's damage, automatically she's stronger. gaining health. She's gaining scaling on her Q percent ma- percent max HP scaling. She's getting lower and lower cooldowns, higher and higher damage. Fucking percentages. Yeah, there's, there's so many champions with percentage percent. everything in the game. Ah, that's stupid. It's percent true damage it's, it's, is it's so really stupid. Awful. Because you gotta build. Singe's only win condition. His only win condition is is in the laning phase. That's it. That's all it is. And. If you if you can't hard carry the entire game out of your fifteen minute laning phase, odds are that you're gonna lose in high elo. 
because he's so he's so easy to play against. You, it's it's not it's unreal. He's he's so easy to play against. He just he's just far too easy. He's such a it's such a free. Like that that that's the thing about sample size, right? You can't always look at low elo, and you can't always only look at high elo, right? You you just have to have a better perspective on it. And Riot, I'm telling I'm I'm telling you guys, like you just right, we're, right, like there are a bunch of silvers in in my eyes, right? They're, they're I mean, not, yeah, not... You, being honest, they really are. Like they don't they don't understand. Even 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 the writers and the balance team who have access to all all of the sample size and all the data, they. They don't use it properly. Like, did they ever take like any sort of statistics course at all? Because the way they talk about sample size and win rates makes me want to like throw my degree against a fucking wall. It's 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 so unreal that someone someone like I I guess not to like completely target Manuel Faxbox, but he's the writer who I've had the most contact with. Uh, and thank you, by the way, if you're listening for for actually interacting with people. But holy shit, you are you're so wrong about Singe win rate in low elo and you're so wrong about how he functions in the high elo one your your only sample size from from Singe has ever been from Singe mates 50 percent of the people who walk in Singe oh at that's all true times are Singe mates no one casually and, goes top with Singed yeah no one because because they know he's and this is a quote from Scarzard Singe is the hardest champion in the, in the game to play next to Rumble and I tend to agree with that um and it's frustrating because he doesn't get rewarded for playing well. But, but, but back to my point, because because 50% of the people that lock in Singe are Singed mains, you you don't have a, a really good sample size unless he's he's a popular pick at the time. Well, that did happen recently, and I remember saying that to, to counter their argument of, oh, Singe has a 50% win rate, he's balanced. And I, I said this to, to, to writers, I said, well, if Singe's play rate goes up, you can I can promise you if his play rate goes up, his win rate's going to go right right down, right straight down. And what happened when Singe started being picked in pro play? Yeah, dude. His win rate went from 51% oh, to like 47%. So over, stupid. Overnight. Because his play rate went from 2% to 7%. His, his, his win rate just plummeted because you have a larger sample size, more people are playing him, right. people who aren't Singed mains, people who don't religiously play the champion, who don't understand the ins and outs of him, and guess what? They all get shit on. That's another thing that kind of irritates me about Singed is you have to you have to literally religiously play Singed to have any any shred of success with him. You you can't just like any other champion in the game. Okay, not any other champion. That's that's unfair. But most champions in the game, if you have like one or two games on them, you can just pick them up, get into a rank game. If you and if you're if you are a genuinely good player, if you're a genuinely good player, you can you can make it work. Uh, this is this is not something I was supposed to talk about, but um, I was talking to Enkin. He's uh he's an ex challenger EUS singed main uh during the 7.1 patch when um pro 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 players uh were consulting him to teach their top laner or pro, pro teams were consulting him to teach the top laners how to play singed, um and apparently Fnatic and um, another team they tried to play singed top lane and they just gave up. The top players just gave up. They said, fuck it, I'm not playing this champion. I'll just play Poppy. I'll just play Maokai. I'll just play Nautilus. They didn't see a point to playing Singed because because the 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 picks were so strong against him that they just got frustrated and rage quit. Yep. I mean, that, that's how bad if I is. can weigh in on that. I, okay. I've talked about this uh, a lot, about this idea of one-tricking and, you know, kind of the transferability, if I can use that. I don't even know if that's a word. But, like... There are a lot of different things you can transfer in terms of skill uh, from one champion to another. Okay, and in, in jungling, this is the, where it's most prevalent. Jungling is just in and of itself a skill, right? The efficiency and all that stuff. So the only thing you really have to change from a from champion to champion is is the kit. When you you know like how well can you clear this camp or whatnot? Like Graves, for example, has so much inherent power, right? And if you move from from Graves over to maybe uh, a, a shittier clearing champion right now. Um, Let's say, let's say Sijuani. Okay, there's there's distinction, but not to the point where it's like unbelievable, right? Just wow, I can't play this champion, right? Um, when it comes to top laners, you see such a deviation from, I guess, regular gameplay. Because like I like we said earlier, th this champion, in order to attack people, he has to literally get you know behind them, right? Or I mean, yeah, like, yeah, it depends on perspective. But like, in order to hit them, the the, the poison comes out his ass. How the fuck do you right? Like, how do you 
that's such a unique thing about him, which can be you know celebrated. S- S- but at the same that, time, um... it's just so weak right now, and and you you can't like you said. I just doing for his point. You can't go from playing a regular top laner to going singed, right? It, it, oh yeah, absolutely not. You absolutely. I don't. I don't understand how. You know, people don't draw the correlation between. Well, if something gets played in in professional gameplay, and people say, "Oh, I want to try this," and they and they just pick it up as if you know, since since isn't a champion, you can just pick up. I mean, obviously, you got to start somewhere. You can't bring that. I I will I will never on my life I will never pick Singed in rank if I have to go top lane. Everything can be banned. Right, and then and the singe will be in front of me. I would uh, I would opt to just dodge. Fuck it, I'm not playing that champion. I would opt to dodge. It, it's stupid. Yeah, yeah. I, see I play I play yeah. Shen before that shit. I play Malphite. All these boring ass top. I would play anything other than. See, that's the thing about Shen and Malphite though. They both have win conditions. Oh shit. Shen yeah, ults Shen yeah. ults carry. Yeah. He ults, he ults, <laughs> he ults, yeah. Malphite ults the enemy carries and then and then slows their attack speed. Like for for, for singed, you're. Your win condition is getting in front of people with a kit that doesn't let you get in front of people. You, you can't. With with items with items that don't give you damage if you get in front of people, like you can't. You, you just, it's it's so bad. You you can't have a champion whose hidden win condition is for your opponents to be idiots. That's okay. Uh, this is uh. Oh, sorry, keep going. No, that's that's about it. Okay, so this is um this is Savage Singed. He's a X Master tier NA Singed player. He's a really really good friend of mine. Um, he's he's been through all the all the ups and downs, mostly downs of Singe over the last few years, just like all of us have. Uh, and, and he wants to weigh in on a little bit. Over the course of time of me playing Singed, the best la- uh, way I could explain how Singe is played is just he's a really he's kind of a tanky, annoying asshole in the game, but. As the games progress to like current current patch, it just feels less and less like you could even do possibly any of that. Like sure, there's like strategies you can do where you could proxy waves and you can be distracting for the enemy team. But in the end, when you have to verse like people who are good at the game and they understand macro based gameplay and they understand mechanics, they anything like that, they're just going to completely like counter everything you have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I broke your Yankees, Grayson. Yeah, my Yankees broke Yankees, broken. Dude. I, yo, I fucked you so hard. I pressed E on Kha'Zix this game for you, dude. I yeah, remember. I had I had to press Ghost and Ultimate to get to a Kha'Zix, and he just jumps a wall. Hey, I'm Kha'Zix, see you, nerd. <laughs> I just boy boyed you. Pre- press press Ghost, Ultimate, Righteous Glory, and Singe. Use use three extremely high cooldown abilities or two extremely high cooldown abilities and an item. Sometimes and just have I'm the enemy telling just, you, just, dude. Just flash away from you, just walk away from you, walk behind a wall, get Thresh Lantern, get, you get Karma slowed, they get uh, fucking Callista ulted, like Yasuo just spams E away, Fiora's like, ha, my Q's on a two second cooldown, let me just walk away from you. Whenever, like, oh. yeah, whenever I, I, I put on the augmented skin skin, whenever I put that skin on, I feel like I can just run through walls. Like, I, I just wish I could just run through walls. Put it like Ghost, RG, Ultimate, I just run through like oh, five shit. walls. It's like, hey, it was me, Sin, this whole time. I was oh, hiding behind shit. this wall. Imagine that, dude. If imagine if Sin could just for five seconds turn on Juggernaut mode and yeah, run through walls, through so walls. his team can fucking go through walls too and just break yeah. the wall or something. Yeah. That's a completely new like. Imagine. Like, I've that, never dude. seen anyone do that it's except like a bar for, like, tunnel, but better. You know, it's on his you know what the worst part about that is? I don't even think that would make him like a meta pick. It would I be really such don't. a stupid ability, I mean, like, but yeah. A very so strong aspect useless. to him is how Singe can gain from really weird angles. Like, he'll, like, proxy, like, between Tier 2 and Tier 3, and then he'll just run through the enemy jungle, and then he'll just gank mid. He'll just dive mid. And it's a really good setup, and, he, and like, no yeah. one really expects a Singe to Why don't they just give him tenacity on the ultimate for a, just a little okay, bit? So, so this is this is what Manuel Faxbot said to me about the tenacity, Okay. Whenever I asked him about it in DMs, almost a year ago now, to to, to this day, he okay, no, it's been ten months actually, so yeah, close to a year. He said giving tenacity back on the ultis isn't going to happen. It would be removing the one clear weakness that stands. Has. What? What? And, and, yeah, yeah, what? right. And to that, and to that, I say you don't have a single fucking problem removing the one clear weakness that any other champion has. You gave you gave Akali a jump. You give Graves a dash. 
You give Camille two fucking dashes. Uh-huh. You give Fiora repeated dashes. Where is their weakness? They, they succeed in melee range. My champion succeeds... Okay, he used to succeed in melee range. Where's... Where's where, where's my slight gap closing? Yeah. Like, you, you don't have a... Like, uh, what's another recent example of a champion where they, like, remove their one clear weakness? Um, fucking... Help, help me out here, guys. Oof. One clear weakness? Or, or just, they just removed a clear weakness on a champion or made that weakness easier to deal with. Hmm. Like the uh, Jin, huh? Jin getting items, like Edge of Night. Oh, yeah, okay, Numbers. yeah, Jin. It, it, your, your immobile is Jin. Here, here's Swiftness Boots. Here's Yomus. Here's Edge of Night. Problem yeah. fucking solved. They actually and, did a good and, job. And it happened sure. twice, to be honest, because back in Season 6, this is what he did in the beginning. He would go Yomus, and he would go Swifties, and he would still have the mobility, and then, like, the Riot was like, okay, this is stupid, let's go to Season 7. And then in the middle of Season 7, it's like, oh, we're gonna bring that back for oh, some reason. Dude, they actually did uh, Jarvan some justice, which I find is funny. Okay, although Riot did a good job with it, because, number one, they removed a, a really ridiculous playstyle that, you know, I theory crafted um, and, and, and proved for months on end, and it finally got traction after... Um, uh, ADD did it, and I think uh, I think yeah, a lot of solo queue players were doing it because of me uh, in in North America, especially. Uh, if you watch, if, you know, go to my YouTube channel or anything. I have a lot of resources on that. Twitch, yeah, TV slash and it, like it, there's there's no there's no refuting it when I say that I'm the only reason that W Max was here. It's because you know I I thought of it, I did it. I'm the only Jarvan player in North America, right? That like or. I guess there are a few people now, but my point is, you know, like I said earlier, it took them seven seasons, seven fucking seasons in order to give. <laughs> and, and, and that's the thing. What, if they just pay attention to a champion or the people that play the champion, what? Like, how is that a foreign concept to, to a company that has access to all this shit? Because their players are on the internet, they're in social media, they're streaming, for example, right? I've, seen, oh, I've yeah. seen some writers come to my stream. I wouldn't call them out on it. I would just check the viewer pool every now and then, right? And, oh, there's a Riot member, right? Or maybe maybe like someone I just played against, right? You know, I play against a few writers actually in, in Diamond. But like, that that's the thing. You you guys are an interactive community. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, hopefully <laughs> at least one or two writers will listen to this. But um, it, it just... There's, I feel like there's no excuse. I, I honestly go to any Reddit subreddit for like any main, right? And just ask them what's the problem, right? Like what 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 do you feel yeah, is weak yeah. with your champion? And I will come back to you with so many things. Well, number one, the W is pretty nice, but Jarvin, he's in a pretty good spot because the way he works is if you're good at him, you're fucking good at him. That's how yeah. I succeeded. I'm. You, your champion I, skills right? skill. It, if you play well, you're rewarded. Because there's so many different things you can do with the EQ and the ultimate. Everyone thinks the EQ is yeah. just like, oh, you know, you knock up, you go, no, you could buffer the Q2 to deny CC. Have you ever heard of that? Can, you can alt over CC. I can literally alt over Lee Kick. Has anyone heard of Jarvan alting over Lee Kick? Well, I mean, you, you probably know of it now, right? But I'm sure you've never seen someone consistently do that. That that's me. That's that's the guy, right? But but you know you know you see all these singe players. There's little to no distinction between their gameplay because there's no room for that. A How the fuck do you play singe differently? Well, you you do him eighty or something. I guess it's like that fervor thing earlier. But like that's the uh, that's all. That's literally it. Think, that's literally it. Yeah, I the, think the, the, the one it's so simple and it's so basic. So that you, you have you have no room to adapt. Like singe players will like. They'll try and hit you with like the oh you just you just gotta adapt, but like you you can't it's it's can't so one dimensional. The items are all so bad on him. There's there's no room for you to adapt. There is none. There's it's just it's just so stupid, I think, right? I think the only distinct thing you can say between each singe player, from what I see Bills. nowadays, is is the ones who have a higher percentage of doing like something like gooflings or. Flinging people <laughs> through, uh, yeah, flinging people through dashes. Like oh there's there's certain God. things that like you have to have exceedingly good timing for. But yeah, that's so, to, like so... get very high value off a of fling for. Like sometimes you can fling like a Lucian dash if you time it perfectly. You can fling him through it, and then look, the Lucian has right, no more right. gap close or escape. I mean, that's that's assuming the Lucian is dumb. And yeah, dude, dash, as he saw so you running. Yeah, like right? if you like. 
you out you outspeed their reaction time, and uh, you can uh, actually get yeah. to them while you're fleeing, and it's oh you got them. I'm not even yeah. kidding. Which, only Which most like, of the time it's not even the case. Dude, I, I I've done sorry, I I've done Jarvan with like Talisman of Ascension, Righteous Glory, and I and I get to do that, right? Because well my champion has some CC on it too. And I've done it I've done it so much. Yeah. I've done it so much where I do that, I'd go in and I'd like EQ out or something. It's like if I, I, I sit there and you know I play with box box, I'd I engage with them. So yeah, I got I have a few advantages, you know, right away. I mean, obviously, you know, if you're solo queuing then that I mean, I've I've done the build even in solo queue and it just Jarvin achieves like I, I, I think about it now and you know I, I've definitely come to the conclusion that dude Jarvin can literally just be a singed better than singed. If you just build those items and speed past them, <laughs> it, it, it's still, I can literally achieve yeah, what yeah. you do with you know all your effort and, and with two buttons, and I just run it. You know, you even yeah, you even do yeah. more damage. I magic. do, I do more damage. That's right, absolutely. I can I can kill an eighty carry. Can you kill shit? No, you can't yeah. kill shit. Why? It's like okay, the, you, you fling the enemy somehow by God willing, you fling the enemy eighty carry. For, uh, Keep in mind, the only way you can do this in high elo is if you're full tank with the Righteous Glory, you're going to have yeah, your poison damage out-healed by their Doran's Blade. You literally do nothing after the fling. That's, like, Singe, oh, yeah. Singe used, you used to be able to be the guy who built uh, Seraph's Embrace, Rod of Ages, Rylai's, some tank items. You just, you'd run in there, you, yeah, it was the mage. you wouldn't it was get the mage. butchered by every CC in the game. He was a he's an AP bruiser, right? You just get in there and you could you could do damage. You could you could you could exist in the ecosystem of a team fight, right? You could you could be relevant. Yeah, dude. Otherwise, now, no. now you you go into a team fight and you do nothing. Singed doesn't feel like singed. If you build the old, if you build the old damage health mana second builds, you can't go in and you die instantly because you have no resistances. If you build the fucking new new builds. Uh, the full tank ones, yeah, sure, you might be able to go in if you're lucky, but then you do no damage. And if you build, if you build hybrid, then you're just gonna lose. You can't build tankiness and damage on Singe right now because you have, you don't have enough of either to function. But so can't, can't, at, the, at the end of the day, Singe just doesn't, he just doesn't feel like Singe anymore. I think that's a really, really big issue. Yeah, especially you, you especially can't. when a lot of other champions in the game. Don't even have to build damage, you, and they just build full tank, and they can do ever. like tons of damage. Like, take for instance, like the the fighters, like Irelia, she'll just build a training force, and then maybe a Sterex, and then she'll have enough damage in her kit to kill almost anyone, and she just goes full tank. She just out tanks mm -hmm. and out trades mm -hmm. everyone. I'm not saying she's like one of the greatest champions right now, but she still has that that role to her where she can go like two damage items, be a tank. And still do damage. Yeah, Singe used to be able to do that, and he can't anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's just. I, I think. Oh, sorry, keep going. Oh, uh, yeah, my, my bad. Um, damn, what was I, what was I trying to say? Yeah, about that point on 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 fighting the ADC. Honestly, if you're a tank that gets shredded by, you know. An ADC, you're you're not doing what you're supposed to do, right? And and for Singed, in order to not get shredded, you know we've said this over and over again. You have to itemize to do so. But then, you, then become, you, still get shredded you, the you, you become you 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 become a life. You're like a health tank. They shoot you to heal, right? Like yeah. you, they literally because they have so much life steal, they shoot you in order to heal. Right, you're, and you're like, basically like a training dummy in, how the, in the practice right? mode. How the fuck do you kill a Draven? <laughs> okay, I struggle against Dravens as Jarvan, but I have burst. I can build Titanic Hydra, and I can, you know, I can look for a little bit of burst on that champion. And 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 I've done this before, right? Where I can build Titanic and like maybe Black Cleaver, and I'm good. I'm good, and that 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 ties into my strength, right? The, the strength of my kid, right? With the health scaling, the tankiness in general, and just going in. My champion's ass, but it's but like it, you, I can make up for it, right? And I can kill an ADC. You're you you can't kill tanks ever. You can't kill ADCs ever. You, okay, even if you get to them, like you said, you you can't you can't kill them. 
S- yeah, like maybe if we're lucky, we can kill we can kill like a Leona or like a Brahma support that's immobile that has no heal. It's so like, dumb. maybe we can I, do that. I, I I feel the same. I feel a little bit of empathy here because I I remember when Jarvan, um, you know, in the jungle, I I, I played against like a Kindred, a Nidalee. Like remember when those stupid range champions, like even Graves back then, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. stupid. I I felt helpless because number one they tank more than me and they do more damage than me. It's like okay, why would you ever want to pick Singe when you can? Oh wait, Shen, Malphite, Nautilus, Poppy, Maokai, <laughs> anything, fucking Leona top, dude. Right, <laughs> even Leona has CC. Yeah, Swain, <laughs> Vladimir, if you're a Jace Cannon, like there's so like, many like, things that yeah. that you can you can you can do that kind of make it yeah good for sin like or not able to play singed when you compare it to meta it, it's dumb it's easier to ask what you can't pick right or like um instead of getting singed you, you can pick everything yeah yeah i agree yeah right it just it just it's a it's an indirect sort of thing it's like Oh my gosh! Right, I I feel the same way, or, or I felt the same way with Jarvan, um, right? Like I said, it just the, everything was better than me. Everything I I lost to like a Moomoo's too. It's like what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what? right? It, it's dumb. Um, yeah, that that feeling when even a Moomoo gets a passive that would be perfect. I think I think uh, if Riot wants to start a new kind of design philosophy for the champions. It should start. They should start with the old champions, right? I'm talking about Garen. Even Annie got a rework, which is this, right? They just sort of a rework. Yeah. Like, and and that was effective. That made it so that Annie, by you know, my one of my good friends, he, I, I'm sure he, he likes that shit as compared to before, where it's kind of it's kind of you know it's kind of useless, kind of one dimensional, right? It, it's it's dumb. Um, yeah, I agree. Season one champion Jarvan, right? Like it just <laughs> finally. God, I'll never get over it. It took them seven point seven patch seven point fucking it's seven years, seven years until they thought, huh? Yeah. Maybe maybe this number should scale with something because well, you maybe, know maybe your champion should be able to function in a game when right. you pick him. What is a five? Maybe you should be able to have fun when you play League of Legends. What is a five hundred and ten shield? What is and then six hundred and seventy? Now I get a thousand shield or more. It's like yes. No, Jarvan is like a good tank. I, I can tank. I can literally tank because before, I mean, it, it makes it so that I, I I don't have to play as smart, ironically. But if I play smart and I have the inherent power of my champion, right, and this is the reason why Graves is stupid, you know, and, and you know, nearly back then because you, you have a champion that's dumb as hell and you don't need anything to play it like no skill at all but just because the champion is good when it comes to the numbers to the kid and you're a smart player then you can do fucking yeah, catch should, sexual success catch yeah. sexual um thousands and thousands of graves players graves mains that get their elo and uh, janna dude <laughs> fucking Right, it just there's so many champions that is so dumb, but if you you know if you're a little bit of a smart player, it amplifies it so much. Smart player being high elo, right? I, I'll, I'll give I'll yeah, give because 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 well the champion has yeah. depth. That's why that's why you're yes. well playing well and the intelligence compounds that. Yes, it it, it amplifies it. Just makes skill have a reward, and also remove diamond players, please. Just saying. Uh... I, I, I feel like we've kind of got yeah, 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 yeah. everything out of the table <laughs> I just, for now. But, um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this recording off. Uh, everyone, if you've listened up to this point, then go go check out King Nidhogg's channel. He's oh, thank you, man. a challenger driving one trick. Well, not a one trick bunny, but a challenger driving main. Uh, he's really good at this game. Very entertaining player as well. Check out his YouTube. Uh... Check out his stream. And uh, we will we will catch you guys later.